Okay, so this is how to reverse your grill on the Xbox One. Um, I have a white system here, and uh, you can see this is the front. And as it stands, the grill faces this way, and you can't, as a result, you can't see through this. And this is, this is the system I'm modifying by adding a green LED. Now, if you look from the other side, you can see through. So basically what we want to do is reverse this grill piece. So if we flip it over, uh, this isn't a difficult thing to do, but it can be a little time consuming. You know, it's all relative though to, to what you feel like it's worth. But um, what I generally use is a 3 16 drill bit. And what I'm going to do here is go through and drill out each one of these things. So each one of these little pieces here, even these guys here, all need to be drilled out. Um, so I'll show you a few of them and maybe I'll show you them all and I'll speed it up. I haven't quite decided. I guess I'll just go through the whole thing. But what you want to do is you want to drill far enough to get through the lowercase. Um, let me get an actual measurement on that. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, so it looks like, uh, I'm going to go use it this way. Yeah, it looks like it's almost uh, an eighth of an inch. Yeah, I'd say that's, that's fair. About an eighth of an inch to get through. Um, there isn't really a way to mess this up uh, unless you drill too far and you go all the way through to the grill on the top, which, uh, which uh, then you probably shouldn't be using a drill to begin with. But... Uh, <laughs> You just want to go far enough to to basically just break that. And you don't even have to completely break it. I'll show you kind of what I mean. Because what you're going to do is you're going to undo a bunch of these things and you're going to push the grill outward and it should snap out. And, uh, well, here we go. So uh, the reason I chose a 3 16 drill bit is it's wide enough to go from one side to the other. And um, you know, part of this is keeping it straight. Um, you know, a top-down view probably isn't the greatest way to see this. Uh, now, it can get a little bit tricky to get it started because it wants to uh, travel on you a little bit. So I usually uh, work it a bit. There we go. Let me get it to about to where you want to be. And um, so that's actually fine there. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera or not, but now you can actually see the separation there. Okay, so we're going to go to the next one. You can actually see the uh, the stem on the grill part. And I'll be able to show you that more once this comes off. Uh, I haven't done this in a little while. So I guess the right way to go about it is to try to center it. And then work it back and forth to get to where you want to be. Okay, alright, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, so since these are oval might want to work a little bit side to side. There you go. So those look really good. See, there's quite a few of them on here, so this takes a while. Okay, and we'll try to go straight down. And it usually likes to walk on us a little bit. These ones, be careful on the edge here, because you don't want to travel off too far to the side there. You could actually uh, drill a hole that you would notice. Okay. You can actually feel when you've gotten through and taken out enough to where the bottom starts to let go. And I'm going to try to do all these front ones here first and you know I guess actually you should, you should try to finish the whole thing.
So look pretty good. Okay, so now is the uh, the fun part. So what we're gonna do here is, as long as I didn't miss any, is attempt to finish the job here and push the tabs all the way through. Uh, if you can feel any that are giving you kind of a hard time, you can go back and drill them again. Probably use a little bit more. that one. That one's pretty, yeah, that one's pretty much out. Yeah, there we go. It's just that one there hanging on for dear life. Okay. There we go. This one's just got this one bit there. See that one little bit there of a uh, tab. There we go. All right, and there you go. See, you can see on the front side here that uh, most of these things are still pretty oval. You see your rounds in the back, but uh, basically it's a flat surface. And as I was saying, uh, as long as you can go all the way through, this is what you have on the back side here. Now, what I generally do here is, um, at this point I go through and clip off these tabs. We're done with our drill. And I use this uh, blanket if it wasn't obvious just so that you don't uh, risk scratching up the top of this case. Um, but for the most part, there's not really much to do here. You can go through and clean up, which I probably will. Usually what I do is I take a uh, my X-Acto knife here and just clean up these holes. I'm not gonna waste your time with that, but uh, there's just little little fragments of plastic in here. So I usually just go through and take them out so basically holes are all cleaned up you can see there's more pieces here so anyways I'll do that off camera but we'll clean this up and get all this cleaned up um, but just to show you here really quick so this these clips what I usually do is take I have these uh, snips here nips I don't know what you call them uh, but basically we go through and we cut off each one and I'll even take the extra step of um, taking a razor blade and looking for any kind of high points. It, uh, it's not critical. This isn't a very even surface. In fact, we're gonna tape down with a double sticky back tape um, this back down to the top upper case. And it's a foam tape, so there's a, there can be just a, a slight bit of distance between uh, this and the top of the case. Uh, but you shouldn't really notice it. Um, I don't think I mentioned, I've, I've tried using hot glue in the past with this and uh, haven't been happy with the result. First of all, there's not much surface area here to connect to. And if you do use hot glue, what happens is it starts to come through the top. You can actually see it. So when the lights are on from the, uh, the inner LEDs, it actually shines and glows off the hot glue, which isn't good. Um, but also this surface is very slick. So specifically, the hot glue does not stick to this at all. Uh, perhaps it doesn't get to a hot enough temperature to actually melt the plastic a little bit, but we don't really want to do that anyways. So I use uh, this stuff. It's made by, I mean, anybody, a bunch of people make it Scott or 3M, uh, but this is just a, your standard foam. You can get this at any uh, drugstore. It's just a standard foam tape. And I take about a one inch strip, cut it, and then make really thin, I'm gonna show this too, but make really thin strips. So with just one inch of this, I can reattach the entire top of this thing. 
and it holds really well. If you ever need to take the, gr the, the grill off in the future, you have to really pry at it to get it off. But I'll continue to, uh, to take these off and then show you the end result. Um, so we'll just work on cleaning it. Like I said, uh, the only other thing you might want is if this, you don't have a pair of snips, uh, but you gotta be really careful with this, is you could use a, uh, a straight razor, which sometimes I use to, uh, that also works. I would say use snips for the first part and then use a straight razor um, for the next part. Okay. Anyway, so I'll do this off camera and then I'll clean all this up and I'll show you actually sticking this grill back on to the top case. Okay, we're going to finish up the grill reversing process here. Uh, at this point, I've cleaned up all the points here with a razor blade and my snips here. And I probably already showed you the beginning of that process, but this is the end. And I went through and cleaned up all these holes pretty well as well and vacuumed up all the the pieces of plastic. So the last thing to do is actually attach this back. Um, as I mentioned before, I like to use this foam tape and I'm going to show you real quick the process here. We're going to cut off about uh, an inch worth of tape. And then when I cut this into thin slivers, I usually can make about five with uh, one piece here and basically what we do here is we put a piece of tape here in each of the corners we want to put these pieces as close as we can uh, to the edges here the reason being on this here, there's this edge where it will stick to, so there's plenty of surface area to stick to, but also you won't see the tape, which is also a nice feature. All right, so where do we put the fifth piece? Uh, I guess what we, oh, I see what, what the five is the magic number. All right, so there's enough space on this side to put another piece, but you can't fit one here. Uh, but that's okay, that should be enough to do it. And go. We do is line this up. All I basically do is line up the lines so they look fairly straight, and then we push it down. Apply as much pressure as you can. You can see here on the inside, nothing's really changed other than now we look going this way. Uh, should hold well enough. Um, you can't really tell the grill's ever been removed. And um, with this foam tape, um, time only makes it stick better. I thought we got a fairly good seal there. So, yep, so there you go. So, we're ready to reassemble the Xbox One with this top piece. Um, we could have just as easily put the vent, uh, the grill back on with the Xbox put back together again since it is external. But, uh, but this is go. the new system that I just completed uh, with the stock fan with added LEDs versus the Cooler Master LED fan. And first of all, all the fan noise you hear, of course, is the Cooler Master, which is running at full speed. The Xbox One here is not, well, it's quiet. It's running at about 900 RPMs, about half the speed of this, uh, this system here. They both have the same LEDs on the front, as you would expect. Uh, but anyways, I just want to do a quick comparison between the two. You can see the amount of light is uh, significantly <laughs> greater um, in the new system. And you retain all the functionality of the stock fan.